Okay, so for our next segment, I want to show you a clip from a YouTuber who is named Pearl. And I didn't really know her. Logan actually sent me this clip. Um, she's apparently like an anti-feminist and trad girl on YouTube. And I, this clip, man, is a doozy. So I want to play it and I, I can't wait to get your reaction, Brad. So let's roll it. None of us in here are, can be considered traditional women. And back then, an average guy could get a traditional woman. And now what does he get? He gets a boss bitch, a boss babe, a girl that's been ran through. He gets an ex hoe. He gets a born again virgin. Like and what do this I is, get? As as women, yeah. this is what what do we get? We still get protection and provisioning. Are you sure? And I, the, yeah. the average yeah. the average that salary be looking for. The average, that's, uh, I'm not I mean, okay, okay, but here's here's the thing. The average salary could cover an apartment. And but the thing is, like women, we want this lifestyle that's not even realistic nowadays. Mm. Like we want men that make more than we do, mm. and we want them to pay all of the bills. But it's like we work. We all have our nails done. We have, um, we get our hair dyed. We have makeup. We have all of this stuff that costs money because we want this lifestyle. And I've had girls come on my show, and I say, "Would you would you date an average guy for companionship? But you would have to go down in lifestyle." And they say, "No, we're addicted to lifestyle." Okay, Brad, I have a lot of thoughts on this, but I want to hear yours first. I don't love the description of women as having been ran through. <laughs> what <laughs> I, I also feel like there's lots of generalizations going on here um, about what women want and women. And it's like, well, actually, I think they want different things. I think they're individuals. I don't know. I She, I, I'm kind of left a little speechless by all that. That was a lot. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was a lot. It's so much. Um, I just, when Logan said to me, I said, this might be the most pick me girl energy I've ever come across in my life. Like I didn't know who she was at all, but I was like, this girl desperately wants men to like her. Um, I thought it was really just absurd across the board. I mean, yeah, first and foremost, just to like be so demeaning towards women to say they're ran through and like. Uh, that that somehow like hurts their value if they've had sex with multiple people as if men no, are she also... would never say that about a man who's no. who's had sex with lots of people right never. It's, like, it's such a double standard and it's just I don't know it's such a like who cares if you're still hung up on that kind of thing in 2022 like I think you need a better value system because there's a lot more to people than who they've had sex with like so and also that like this idea that they're permanently damned I think yeah the, that promiscuity in general is not good because it's not good for you. Like, it's not really going to make you happy. But it's not as if you're somehow worth less as a person or you're, like, damaged goods because you've had a promiscuous path. I don't know. That, that I really don't like that framing of that. And we would yeah. never apply it to men. We really never. just don't at all. Such a double standard. And then I also just thought she was, like, dead-ass wrong in her assessment of how women are in the world. Like, first and foremost, women are predominantly working these days. They're not looking for men to pay their bills. They're not looking for men to take care of them. And they're achieving the standards of living that they are achieving on their own backs. So why should a woman have to lower their standards or their quality of life, which is what she's advocating there, right? She's saying, like, you should basically lower your standards, be willing to accept a man who, like, brings a lot less to the table than you do, and that it's just women have, like, gotten addicted to a lifestyle. And it's like, well, if they've earned a lifestyle that they want and enjoy, what is wrong with that at all? And also, like, we should be asking why can't men keep up? Um, I think that's a real problem that we're seeing increasingly in society where women are getting more degrees. They are starting to become higher income earners. They are often better with their money. And, and I think we really need to have some serious conversations about why men are falling behind in some ways. Um, because it is not a good thing for a society to have that unequal kind of matching, right? Like, it does make it very hard because you know, human nature and just evolution sort of does say that women want somebody who's an equal or a provider or somebody who, you know, can hold their own. Like, I, I have to be honest, I wouldn't date a man who made a lot less money than me. I just wouldn't. Like, a little bit less, maybe, but like, not a lot less, because I just think it would be a really odd dynamic for me. Um, I'm just not really something that makes sense. My lifestyle would be very different than theirs. I think it would cause a lot of inferiority issues with men because they kind of, I've seen it happen. I'll just put it that way. I've seen it happen over and over and like people don't want to admit this, but it's often true. Like it's just not really something that works for most couples. If it does for you, that's great. If that's what you want to do. But I think as a whole, most people kind of want to date people who are sort of where they're at in life um, or similar. And, and that does matter more to women than it does to men. I know men don't really tend to care how much a woman makes or like what their career is or what they've achieved. But basically, I, I just disagree with her whole premise that women should have to accept less <laughs> because they have succeeded more. And, and I also don't think that's what women are largely asking for. They're not asking men 
to come in and pay their bills. Most women I know pick up half the tab in their households and are very Yeah, that was part of it that struck me. It's like, I don't know a ton of women who think like this, who are like, oh, I need a man who's going to keep me. I have my standards of living. They're going to have to step up, blah, 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 blah. It's like she's responding to something that maybe exists still in some circles, but doesn't apply to most of the women I know who want an equal partner in life and and are not looking for somebody to be their sugar daddy in this way that Mm -hmm. she seems to be uh, styling the modern woman as still doing. I mean, maybe I think some of this is echo chambers and maybe there's a certain like social media echo chamber of glitz and glam influencers who are like this. I don't know. But I just don't get that vibe from most most of the women I know in real life that they're looking for, they have all these high tastes and they're looking for a man to keep up and they're so materialistic. I, I really don't get that. Also, when she was kind of trying to say women are materialistic because they want to get their nails done and do their makeups, like they do that for men. That's a beauty standard men require, that men want women to look a certain way and to have a certain aesthetic. And so like a lot of women do feel pressured to do that to attract men and that's very expensive. So... I mean, the money's got to come from somewhere. Like, I, yeah, I just, I don't know. Again, I thought this was major pick-me energy. It just wasn't really grounded in reality. And it's kind of funny that you see a lot of men responding to these kinds of videos, like, getting amped up by it. Like, yeah, yeah, that's right. Because she's basically giving them an out, right? And, And I see that online a lot, where men are basically telling women, like, you need to lower your standards. You need to humble yourself. You need to, like, you know, there's this video that was circulating that was telling women, like, if you want to date a man who's six foot and has uh, is not obese and makes over six figures your chances are five percent you know based on the population so except except less basically and you know i think if somebody's being superficial about some of this like yeah like does it matter if your spouse is over six foot no but like i just don't like this premise that women consistently are told online they need to have lower standards (laughs) instead of telling men to like pick it up yeah i think people in general not just women but people have to like, I do think there's some validity to the height thing. Like, people... But it, it goes both ways. The same... There's men who are like, well, I don't want a woman who's anything less than a C cup. Right? It's like, people need to not treat these, like, single things as the deal breakers that they treat them. Because uh, online dating, especially, has given a lot of people this illusion of unlimited options that doesn't actually exist. And so then they have these super unrealistic standards. I have friends who are single who are like this. And they're constantly swiping left on everyone because they don't check one of the boxes. And it's like maybe if they'd met them in real life, they'd hit it off and then say, oh, okay, whatever. She's not, she's a, a, a cup or whatever, or he's five foot nine, whatever. It's like people are a lot of things. And anytime we're defining them down to one checklist, I think nobody should be doing that. But that's certainly not something only women do. <laughs> Right. Yeah, exactly. And I do think you're right. I think online dating, it gives people the idea that they have access to all of these people, right? And they're scanning and scanning and scanning. And it's like, but when you really get to know somebody, you love them, like you love their flaws too. And you don't need them to be absolutely perfect. So I think it's a damaging mentality. But again, like I just, it's not what I've mostly seen. I've actually seen way more women lowering their standards far too, far too low because they can't find somebody who's actually an equal or like, or really bringing it and, and more more than I ever have seen them like sitting in a corner and just waiting for Mr. Perfect to come along. So I, I hate this premise as a whole. Mm-hmm.